Hey guys, welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So, I haven't vlogged in about two weeks and there's so much going on. So, I know some of you guys are not on Instagram. Um, if you are, follow me. I can give you more update. So, renovation started. I did give you a, uh, clips on Instagram, I believe I did. If I have still footage on my phone, I will put it in so you can see. So, the renovation really started because I have some water damage on um, my kitchen floor, which I wasn't sure where it was coming from. And after investigating it, we realized where it was coming from. It is an easy fix in terms of um, to prevent it from happening again. But the work become a little bit more harder because of that. But for, for the most part, 80% of um, the kitchen is, is done, um, which is good as, as far as the floor. As far as the floor, there's still going to be painting and there's certain lift, facelift I'm giving the area. Um, but that was gradually happening. And of course, the living room, the hallway, all that flooring has to get done. Um, it's a process. It's an expensive process because you guys know everything price went up. Especially when you're dealing with wood, it went up. So there's other things in the house that's going to get done. This is... It is painful as, as I, I did not like the comment. <laughs> Up to three months is probably going to take because I can only get it done on the weekends. Um, and it's 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 a process in terms of doing all of that. But I'm still grateful that it's getting done. And I'm just so looking at the bigger picture of what it's going to look like when the summer comes. Because it's just going to be such a nice chill spot downstairs. Also up here on the loft needs to repaint. I know you guys have seen me talk about it for like the last two years. So I'm going to finally get up here also repainted and this is going to be another hectic situation because all this stuff is going to have to get moved and maybe I'll do another, um, you know, change up the spots up here. That's, that's, that's the three month process. <laughs> it's not fun guys. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I am a... OCD person where everything has to be in a certain spot and downstairs look like hell right now and I hate it. I hate every bit of it. But I know the bigger picture is it's gonna look fabulous when it's all done. So that's what I have to tell myself. Reading. Alright, you know this month is um March Mystery Mystery Madness. So I'm focusing more of on books like that. But I got some good recommendation from you guys. Thank you. Um on for romance and because I didn't read that much last last month so I want to kind of add it in the mix as well and guys because I've been organizing and trying to gather things together y'all it took a week to find this a week <laughs> for a whole week I had no idea where my candle was I looked everywhere and it was in a spot that I don't even know why I would put it in there. And it just was the weirdest thing. But for a whole week, we're, we're, not even a week, more than a week, I, I was tearing down the house trying to find it. Finally found it and I was like, yeah, this is not a... I always have my candle. Because sometimes, to be honest with you, I, if I knew a book is on uh, Kindle Unlimited and I have the physical copy, sometimes I read it on a Kindle at night because, you know, it's, it just can really reach through this and sometimes at work it's easier for me to tr to have this on me um than the book because you know you, you put the book in your bag you end up damaging the book and all of that because i'm a little i'm a book snob on damaged book you know y'all know that <laughs> so finally found it and it still had about 87 percent battery life so this thing do hold on the battery really good because i thought by now it would have been dead 87% yeah what I've read so far this month I finished this book this is devil in a blue dress this is Walter Mosley this is the first book in easy rally series and I am so here for it loved it now I need to go watch the old movie with Denzel Washington so I will be doing that hopefully tomorrow if you know it's a snow day it's probably the perfect time to actually watch um, the movie. So I think I'm going to watch the movie in this vlog. And then I'll give you like the whole review of this. And of course the movie. I'm also reading. And um, a good, good bit in. Good bit in. What am I in? It's like 60 pages in. This is a short. This is not long at all. Um, 
It's like 200 something. 200, 230 something pages. So this is the second book in um, Blanche series. So it's Blanche and the Lamb. This is, this is Blanche of Monster Ten, Talent in 10. And it's Barbara Neely. So you know she passed away not too long ago. So I believe there's four or five in a book in a series. I don't intend on flying through them because there's not a lot <laughs> so this is one of those where I'm like committed to where every year I would just read one or um, depends on how I feel I might pick it up for but I know authors like this because you know there's not much left I don't like running through their collection I, I like to just slow read them I did that with you know um, Attila Butler you guys know I took a f quite a few years to read all her novel um, and I appreciate doing it that way than trying to fly through um, in you know an author's book especially when you know there's no more coming they're passed away that's it so I am enjoying this so far now if you if you read the first one you get like you know um, she's just always a nosy woman and this is another case of she is wanting to move with her children to a more um, an area where she feel like they um, would be a better influence on them but in this case, she end up at this uh, this place where it is run by black um, people. But these are what you call wealthy and also has some colorism issue as well. But she knows he because when she got there, someone, an old person who is part owner um, of that um, place is, had died. And there's a mystery around it because how they're explaining it in the book, you kind of like get the idea that did she really die or somebody kill her? <laughs> that kind of deal. But you're not sure. So that's where this comes in. But I'm enjoying this. I think she is just that nosy woman that you just like, you see, like she learned her lesson. Here she go, you know, loving the entertainment of all the shenanigans that's happening at the place. And um, so I will definitely uh, give you all the rundown on this. Um, did not get nowhere decent in this one. But you guys know I'm going to be reading this all month. Um, but I haven't like really dig in, dig into this one yet. So this is uh, uh, Moon um, Witch Spider King. This is the Marlon James, the second book. Um, and I, um, yeah. I'm going to dig into it later. I also started an urban fiction that was recommended to me. I'm not going to talk about it yet because literally I only read like seven pages in there. So I'm not sure if I'm going to continue it this week. Uh, but I wanted to get a feel for it. And so far I'm like, okay, we'll see where this going. But when somebody recommend me that kind of book, I know it has to be good. I trust their judgment because they wouldn't recommend me something like that if it wasn't good. So, um, so that's where I'm at right now. I am going to fix something to eat. Guys, up here is also a mess because I have about uh, two different sewing projects that I'm working on. Um, I am doing my first denim dress, but denim, this denim dress has so many pieces. So many pieces. This is like probably my my most ambitious so far um task because there's so many pieces and i'm going to take my time with this so this is not going to be done in this video um i also have a pants the pants is really not going to be hard it's an easy one but i'm going to focus on this dress because if i can really execute this the way i want i'm going to be making several <laughs> in different colors <laughs> of this dress so I am going to right now kind of um, embrace the process, take my time, and work my surgery. My surgery is not acting right. Um, Mr. Man had to help me fix it. Look, I broke a needle. It wasn't um, sewn right. The thread, the, the thread kept cutting. Um, I don't know if I just need to get it clean because when it was upside down, there was all kind of stuff falling out. That could be a process, but let me know if you guys, if any of you guys are into sewing and have a surgery, if you ever had issues with it. Um, but that's where I'm at. So this is my little intro. My intro is probably going to be a little long <laughs> to chat, but i give you the rundown of the week. And also, again, I will show you bits and pieces of the before and after um, 
uh, the process of home renovation, um, especially home renovation that is very long overdue. Um, and so I can't complain, but it's just all oh, the money. <laughs> the money! <laughs> Oh my god, things that used to cost like 20 something dollars per pack is now like damn near 50. You know, it's just everything has skyrocketed. I wish I would have done all of this like before the pandemic um, because it would have been so much more cheaper. But who knew the world? And then the gas price is just that gas price is probably going to increase stuff too. So I'm just cross my finger I can get as much as the supplies as possible before the gas price cause all everything else to freaking increase so yeah that's where I'm at with this hang in there guys we are all in this mess together <laughs> Whew. What, what what a year this is turning out to be as well yeah so anyway all right let me go fix something to eat and uh, get to some journaling for the day yeah So yesterday I didn't get to vlog as much because I had a lot of things going on. I did work out and it snowed. It snowed guys. There's snow outside. I don't understand this weather. The week started off at 70 degrees and then we get snow. And then we're supposed to get snow again on Saturday. Yeah. This is bipolar March. So reading wise, I am loving this. <laughs> um, This is... Blanche just seems to always get herself in some mess, you know, there's, there, there's, there's two deaths, there, there is a, a concussion, <laughs> and she ain't run yet, like, I would have been like, let me grab these kids and get the hell out of town, because these are uh, crazy people, you know, but, you know, she knows me now, and she want, she's invested, because she want to know all the deeds and what's going on, and certain things that's revealed about this family, um, this is, a, is really a mystery that is always a family drama but you know a murder in a family kind of deal um i'm enjoying this i love the friend she was in the first one um that you know always on the phone with that has her two cents in everything and but you know but secretly you know she, she's that friend that like you know blanche you should you should get out of town but blanche i really want to know what's going on <laughs> That kind of friend. Um, I am enjoying this. I'm almost done. I'm definitely gonna be finished this soon. I think I did not get to watch um the the devil in a blue dress movie yet. It's still going to be watched. Um, and I haven't gone food shopping, so I'm like really scraping up whatever in the kitchen to eat because I'm going food shopping tomorrow. But yeah, I am enjoying this. Uh, workout yesterday was amazing. I did not get to work out today because I did not sleep yesterday literally I was working on almost 24 hours being up yeah I don't know what happened I couldn't sleep save my life um but I'm going to do some cardio later and then tomorrow um hit it hard for leg day um and that's where I'm at with this uh, uh weight loss right? I, I listen to my body I don't try to do too much but I also try to maintain and work out at least four to five times a week I work out. Um, goal is to do at least five days, but um, sometimes it's just four I can make it in. Um, but I'm active. So even though the days I don't work out, I'm still active, so I still get in some kind of workout because I'll be walking somewhere doing physical stuff. I'm up the stairs. It's three floors. <laughs> so I'm up and down the stairs and all that. Um, but I do need to make sure I do at least 30 to 40 minutes of cardio daily.
so that's where i'm at so as you can see this one is dead i pull up the roots so i'm gonna get rid of that and then this one you can see is just going going and but there's some new leaves here so i don't understand so i think i'm just gonna cut these because they're just they're dead they're dying they're just no good and then over here you see all these other ones are doing really well this one is starting to unfold and then over here um there's just looking like a wild bush but not so bad so that's where i'm at with my plants <laughs> Denzel. Look, look at younger Denzel. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I'm finished with the books. So I'm so excited to talk about this book. I love when I read mystery, suspense, and it comes out so good because sometimes you can read those kind of genre and it's so predictable or the character is just stupid and you're just annoyed but not these you know but i'm not surprised because these are legends these are authors that are known for this craft this is their genre this is their niche and i am um excited to talk about it so we're going to start with devil in a blue dress i'm glad i read the book i'm also glad that i saw the movie and i'll talk about it in a few because i don't remember anything about that movie and also it gives me, it made me appreciate the movie also by, by reading this. What I can say, and this is, um, because mystery, you know, that we can follow you review it. <laughs> this is about a man who is down his luck. He's, um, has an issue where he lost his job. He's ex-military and also, um, he has a house and he wants to make sure he can pay his mortgage and he's little, you know, struggling in that ear because of the job situation. And he's in a bar where uh, a man is um, giving him a proposition of where can he find this woman. And not much of a detail, but there's a lot of money involved. So, of course, down in your luck, you need some money, you're going to take this up. You're not realizing what's going on, the connection, and all the mess that's going to happen. So, finding this woman led to a whole lot of drama, a whole lot of secrets, a lot money some pol uh, political stuff is encountered with police now this is 1948 so just imagine what was going on in the country and a black man trying to find a white woman yeah so loved it it was so good it's not long so there's always something going on it's just it's a mystery that you're going to appreciate because is short and because of the short there's something going on on each page you're not getting dragged and feel like oh god what's next um or when are we getting to the good stuff there's always a good stuff i love the character i love mouse love mouse easy easy e easy good easy good um and the, the, you know the the women in this um daphne dume uh duma dume and um coretta Yes. So I I thought this was interesting. I thought all the characters was good, but then it got better, guys, when I watched the movie. This was one of the best casts that they did for a movie like this. It the cast was just phenomenal. We're talking Denzel Washington, Don Cheeto, we're talking about Jennifer Bill. Um, there is an I forgot the other girl name that she used to be in a lot of movies back in the in the nineties and um early 2000s they had such a good cast and the acting was just everything also this is where you get a book to movie adaptation 
but you still keep the book as a main focus in the, in the movie. You don't chop up the book to the point where you don't recognize the book in the movie. That kind of deal. You know, you know what I mean? Because I did another video where I talked about that. No. It was really like very close to the book. There are some areas that they had to change up a little and tweak. And I think it made sense because it made the movie action pack extra, you know, over the top. What you need in a mystery to keep the audience wanting to keep watching. The acting chops, I mean, Denzel. Denzel, Mouse, played by Don Cheeto. Don Cheeto! This was early days of Don Cheeto's career. This is one of his early movies. And I'm thinking back then we probably didn't recognize who the heck he was. <laughs> that kind of deal. But we know Denzel. Denzel was just smooth. Denzel was a smooth, but also had the facial expression, believable, all that. He made easy character the bomb. Now, what I would say is, I wish they would have continue this series and maybe made this back then because this was like a movie it came on a movie it got a lot of nomination for different kind of award that if it was a, a, a modern day take now they could have just easily make this into like a series on all the books and it would have been really good because back now we're into stuff like that where people can um, binge watch a book series kind of deal um, instead of having to be a major movie production um, because it's, 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 I think it's like 15 books, guys. There is no way they could just do that. And also, they got Denzel doing the early stages. So I think they could afford him back then. But they probably couldn't afford him to continue the series after a while. Because, you know, he was uh, getting that money and started getting that recognition. And doing much more heavy-duty kind of movie. So that might be where that, you know, didn't didn't get the, you know, continuation and all that. But there's no if, ands, or but about it. I will continue the series and I love it highly recommend that you get into the series um, I think it's just one of those um, books that Walter Mosley you know this is his this is his thing this is his thing the writing style the the, the um how he 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 do dialogue and the, the the feel of the time you felt it in this you can imagine the bar I was imagining the bar in this and then when the movie come out, I was like, yeah, that's how, that's how I was talking about the bar, you know? You know, so, yeah. Then I got on to Blanche Among the Talented Ten. And this is one of those mysteries that I don't think I could wait till next year to read the third one. I, I, I think I'm going to end up reading the third one much sooner than that because Blanche is such a nosy black woman that tend to get herself into things because one, she care and the other because she simply is a nosy woman. And what I love in this mystery is another family thing because she always get involved with some kind of family that has things happening. And then this is, it is a, a case of death. And there's that, that whole idea of was the person murder? Was the person accidentally got died or something like that? And she did not intend that, but she kind of got, I think, um, she kind of got put in a situation at first that she didn't realize she was being put in a situation. That kind of deal. What I also like is the character's age difference in this. You have, um, you know, birth people that are around her age, a little younger, but then you have the old Billy. So in this, you have a main character that is an old woman that is a part of the high society black family, the family that, you know, is all about paper, the brown paper bag and want to maintain certain kind of um, um, looks in the community, representation. They, they, they're not trying to dirty the, the woman. The old woman was not trying to dirty up her near. <laughs> she was going to make sure that didn't happen. And, but she comes off in such a way that you can see how Blanche can just gravitate to her and, and love that friendship. And Blanche is also in a new turf in terms of she's not working as um, necessary for someone like she did in the first one. This one, she's more of enjoying a little bit of um, asset that she now has. That's all I'm going to tell you because you have to read the first one. And also... Our feelings, you know, she's she's a woman that um, acquired two kids from her sister. Um, she's never been married and, and had that family life. And, you know, in this you get a man that tried to, you know, pull her in. And her feelings got caught up. And 
But, you know, it, things happen. I think Blanche... It, and another thing about this. The name, you would think Blanche is just like this old woman. Blanche is, is around my age in this. But they, they in a way that that name Blanche you think is old. No, she ain't old. She just <laughs> she just not old. This the name. But it's it's something about Blanche that you just you just like, even though she does some stuff for you like Blanche. That was dumb. Like you want to tell Blanche, why are you running around with these crazy people? If you don't pack your stuff and get the hell out of town, that's what you want to tell Blanche. But then you like Blanche. Go find out. I know you're going to find out some juice. Go find out some juice. <laughs> I love that about her. Um, and I love how the, the story unfolds. I love every bit of secrets that got out and how and how somebody can really um, hold on to a whole family or community worth of secret. <laughs> and, you know, if it got exposed, what people would do, that kind of deal. Um, but I love this. I can't wait to get to the third one because it's just like, yeah, yeah, Bl Bl Blanche, I I you know, she claims she care. I no, she just, she, she care about this much. She's nosy <laughs> about this much. So, highly recommend, guys. This was a definitely a good one for me. I absolutely love this. So, these are the two books that I finished so far. Um... This month, I'm a little um, behind to me. I should have been like on the third book right now. But yeah. So anyway, this is a week, another weekend, this weekend. And it's so beautiful today, but it's going to snow tomorrow. So that's, I put a little damper on what I can do. But I'm going to continue. I'm going to pick up the Marlon James and get a few chapters in tonight. And then I have one more mystery on my list, which is Jamaica Inn. Yeah, I mean, Jamaica Inn. Ooh. Jamaica Inn. So I'm going to get into this one. And this will, I think this is a, the last mystery Yeah, of the month. And, um, but yeah, I'm excited, guys. So I will definitely um, continue this March Mystery Madness deal. And I will try to catch up on videos that are doing that. Because I would love to see what other mystery people are reading and add that to my future TBR. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. And let me know if you read any of this or if you're reading any mystery, what are you reading? And put that down in the comment section. So, thanks. <laughs> Bye.